nice snooping tech. Who does your dad work for anyway? The good guys, obviously. Um, uh, hello? I'm just gonna let Paul have a go on swings because, you know, potatoes love swings. Do you think Pie Face is acting a bit odd? <laughs> pie Face? Odd? Good one, Dennis. Hello, Pi. Oh, right. <laughs> Dennis! Nasha! It's not what it looks like. Looks like you nabbed a piece of advanced surveillance technology from a top secret laboratory. Oh, then it's exactly what it looks like. How did you get out without screw top seeing? Switched it for a regular pie, of course. Nice! Where did you get that idea? Um. So let's see what secrets it's got stashed under its lid. No, that's why I rescued it. It doesn't deserve to be poked and prodded. Just look at it, a walking pie. The answer to all my dreams. Don't be shy, pie. You're free. No more labs or secret missions. You can live with me instead. I'm going to call you Krusty. Uh, pie face, we're still here. <laughs> no! Please, Dennis, don't tell the others. Ruby will make me give Krusty back. Well, I guess it's pretty cool being friends with someone who's friends with a robot pie. Even if you can't tell any of your other friends in case they make your friend who's friends with a robot pie give his friend the robot pie back. Err... <laughs> Hmm? Why did the pie go to the dentist? I don't know. Why did the pie go to the dentist? He needed a filling. Ah. What I'm trying to say is, you know, fine, whatever. Yes! We're going to be BBARSPFFs. Huh? Best boy and robot spy pie friends forever! <laughs> now... Let's see if we can't locate that memory chip. Huh. Strange. I don't remember those circuits looking quite so tasty. Ah! Mouse! What did I say? No zero G kickflip so soon after dinner. Mrs. Creature must really like keys. Nah, she's after the legendary treasure of Obadiah Cockerfeller. Treasure? <laughs> Don't mention treasure. Paul goes a bit crazy for treasure. I think we'll cope with the treasure crazed potato. My brothers say this old family got rich way back in the day, selling practical jokes and crocodiles. Two of my favourite things. Yeah, it was a popular combo before health and safety got invented. The Crockefeller's fortune's meant to be buried somewhere under Beano Town. Hmm. And Creature thinks the time capsule's a clue to finding it. <laughs> Looks like she doesn't know where to look. Come on! Which one is it? <gasps> Care to save any sprout and toffee cool ash, Mrs. Crewe? No, not in there. Oh, it could be any keyhole in Beano Town. Hmm. Oh! Wait a minute. What's this? I smell adventure. No, Paul. They're my friends. Huh? Paul says I should knock ye all out and swipe all the loot from myself. Paul really likes treasure. Huh? Oh, didn't you hear that? Paul said, Arr, me treasure map, curse the land lubber. Walter is not going to ruin this. Follow that map. Bye. Don't panic. I got a photo. We know what Walter's car looks like. Of the map. Ooh. Thing is, usually X marks a spot, but this map is covered in X's. Beano Town can't have that much buried treasure. There's a bit here without an X on it, so maybe no X marks the spot. Works for me. Come on. My pupils may be of some use here. Hmm. Just ahead is the spot that X doesn't mark. Oh. 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 Oh.
bunny on it. Paul says Walter isn't fighting fair and we should destroy him and everything he loves. That's a bit harsh, Paul. If there's a clue hidden here, we've got to find it before... Hooray! Oh. I found the clue. <laughs> oh, it's locked. <sighs> Didn't Mrs. Cleet... Oh, no! Huh? <laughs> ah! uh, oh, you won't beat me that easily. Potatoes, eh? What are they like? <laughs> are you sure you know the way? I'm tracking Grizzly using only Grizzly survival manual techniques. Snap twigs, size 14 boot prints, beard fluff on bark. Grizzly went this way! <laughs> Fine, take the boring route. Where's your sense of Grizzly survival adventure, guys? Ah, zero fear, guys. I know just how Grizzly would conquer this great and fierce river. First, he'd chop down 20 trees with his bare hands. Chop, chop, chop! Then he'd lash them together using rope woven from his toughest toe hairs. Finally, he'd brave the icy waters on his raft. Or he could just paddle across. I'm pretty sure we've seen that rock formation before. Are we lost? Uh, nah. And even if we were, I left a textbook Grizzly Griller this way back trail of sausages. Sausages? Um, zero fear. I left a foolproof backup trail of pies. What? what? Oh, foolproof, but not pie face proof. We may have a little problem. We may have a big problem. Uh, come on, fella. Open wide. <gasps> Grizzly, we've got to help him! Dennis, wait! You don't know what's going on! Zero fear, Grizzly! Ooh. Hey, little guy, stay calm! This is the coolest thing I've ever seen! Ha, ha, ha. What was that thing? The beautiful red and black striped venomous deadly killer Beano Snake! Grizzly! You've been bitten! Uh-oh! You know, one cheeky chomp causes almost instant memory loss. I just need to drink my anti-venom before the bite takes effect. The snake's got it! Snake? What snake? Who are you? And what's a snake? <gasps> the venom's already taken effect! Grizzly's lost his remembering power! Looks like it. But we can track that snake and find the antidote. Remember, I know Grizzly's survival manual backwards. Handy. Because that's exactly how Grizzly is now walking. Why is where I want to go getting smaller? Might be no one else saw it. Right, Nasha? Hey, Dennis! Nice moves on that skateboard! Blam! <laughs> OK, so posty script. No props, I'll just avoid him forever. Hey! Finally off me, boy! Blam! 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 Hold it, lad. What do you think you're doing, eh? Not almost falling off those wheels. Blam! I get it. I'm a total guff donkey. Skate trick genius, more like it. I should arrest you for being criminally watchable. Huh? And finally, Beano Town News, what would you say if I asked for the first interview with Dare Dennis? I'd say, who's Dare Dennis? Your fans are already making Dare Dennis tributes. <laughs> What can I say, Anne, except blam? So, Dare Dennis, how did you come up with that catchphrase? Just use my blam imagination. And what have you got planned for your next trick? Oh, uh, something blamazing. <laughs> Do you think he'll still be embarrassed about the whole blam situation? Nah, Dennis has a thick skin. Like this glue. <laughs> Howdy, trick lovers. Dear Dennis, just wanted to say... Blam! Whoops, sorry, Blam! You imbecile! Blam? Blam, 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 Blam! Any cranial trauma? Dear Dennis, oh, could you sign this? It's uh, 
for a friend. Aye, she loves your tricks. <laughs> Blem. Creature can't be a Denny's fan. Actually, we prefer to be called Denthusiasts. And finally, Beano Town News. Dare Dennis, can you ever get any more daring than that trick? Absolutely. They don't call me scared, Dennis, do they? So, Dennis is a celebrity now. Yes, he's a hoot. Uh, I, I mean, the opposite of a hoot. He's hootless. That's right, Bertram. He's insufferable. So, I think it's time his 15 minutes of fame were cut short. <laughs> this party's going to be awesome. As awesome as my next video? I'm thinking sharks. No! The lesson here is always read the instructions before using a time machine. I have been studying it for years, and even I have trouble remembering how it works. Dad, you have trouble remembering how the front door works. And that's why I write myself instructions. Take door opening lever and rotate 40 degrees downwards and... Oh, symbol. Ruby, you call his parents. They'll be fretting like toasty snowmen after two weeks. Wait, what? Two weeks? I've missed the Big Din Makers concert. No! You're lucky to be alive after messing with the time machine. Time machine? Guessing this will send us backwards. <laughs> Dennis! You total goth donkey! Oh, Newton sucks! The time destination sprocket has spoiled! They've gone back in time, but I can't tell how far! <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. <laughs> Point. Well made. <laughs> We've come back to the time of the dinosaurs! <laughs> Dr. Pitful Pooper, what are you doing here in the time of the dinosaurs? It's Pooper Pfeffer! And your shenanigans have interrupted an important scientific breakthrough. Dinosaur bones? In a cage? And a big laser thingy? Yes, you don't! I was regenerating a Nashosaurus Rex from the DNA in these dinosaur bones, but uh, somehow it escaped. Wait a time travelling minute! We're not in the time of the dinosaurs at all! Cool! Not cool! Read the instructions. <laughs> we time travel twice and everything's fine. 